Hey everyone, it's me Jens from the PDF Element Pro team and I'm going to be your host today. Many people, including me of course, have been in such a situation as, for example, your accountant sends over some kind of PDF document, which has sensitive information in it. Obviously, it's from an accountant, it has to do with financials, etc. And now you want to open up this PDF document, but you can't open it up. It wants a password from you. Because your accountant is a very smart person, he doesn't want any other person apart from you to see what's inside of this PDF file. And I mean, all of us will be in such a situation at some point in life, be it now or later. You want to protect some kind of sensitive information that you want to send to another person. And that's what we are going to talk about today. How to protect your PDF files using PDF Element Pro. But before we dive into the main video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the Wondershare PDF Element Pro channel as well as to activate the little notification bell down there. That way you are going to stay updated about future features that will eventually come to Wondershare's um, PDF Element Pro or maybe you want to participate in some kind of giveaway. No matter what it is, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. As mentioned before, one of the first things you can do to add a very secure layer of protection to your PDF files is to make them password protected. For this, obviously, open up the PDF document of your choice that you want to protect. As already suggested, all you have to do is go over to the Protect tab and then from there on onwards click on Set Password. Now a new window is going to pop up where all you have to do is click on both the check marks right here. Now you can start entering passwords. Now let me elaborate on the two categories that we have right here. So at first we got the open password and as the name would suggest, if you enter a password here, another person needs to enter this very password if they want to access the PDF file, meaning read only. Now we also got the permission password, which is yet another layer of security that you can add to your PDF files. If you enable the option of permissions, then people can only print a PDF file, copy text, edit text, etc if they also have this password at hand. So meaning if you want to make a PDF file read only, just use the open password. And if you also want other people to be able to copy text, print pages, etc. by putting a password in, then definitely make sure to enable the permission password. Now for me, one of the most important options to disable is the permission to print something. Let me elaborate on this a little bit more. Thing is, on Windows, there's this built-in print to PDF option. Now the thing is, even if you have permissions disabled, you don't want other people to edit text, etc. They would be able to print a PDF file as a new PDF file. And from there on onwards, they would be able to edit their newly printed PDF file, which is kind of a real downside. So if you want to add an extra, extra layer of protection, definitely make sure to disable printing. Or if you want other people to be able to print it, but not in the fullest detail because you have some statistics in their financials, etc., then you could also enable the option for low resolution printing. This way, they are gonna be barely able to read something, but it's not a one to one carbon copy of your financial document, for example. Now, the same logic goes with the changes permission options that you have right here, and those can be used to add few more layers of protection or to give other people a few more options to edit the PDF file in some sort of way like rotate pages, being able to fill out form fields or to add signatures or the like. So if you want to make sure that no one does bad things with your PDF file, definitely make sure to check mark the no changes are allowed option right here. But if you want other people to be able to delete pages, rotate pages, fill in some kind of forms or the like, then make sure to check some other option here. Just make sure that you have always in mind, the more permissions you give to people, the more chance they have to do bad things with your PDF file. So pick carefully. And the same thing goes with the last check mark that you can check right here. Enable copying of text, images and other content. If you still feel secure if people can copy the contents of your PDF file, then that's good, check mark it. But if you want to add a very, very thick layer of protection, definitely uncheck enable copying of text, images and other content. And once you're satisfied and you have set your encryption level, for example, to 256 bit AES, then make sure to click on the save button. 
And now just to demonstrate that everything worked, I'm going to close the PDF file that I just um, added the passwords to and then I'm going to open it up again and then you are going to notice that you have to enter passwords to be able to edit something of the sort if you have the permission password enabled or if you just want to open it up in general. Now clicking onto the furniture PDF file you are going to notice that a new window is going to pop up that wasn't there before. Now I'm going to enter the password to be able to view the file. Clicking on OK and hey I was able to open it up and now if I want to enable the editing of some sort I can click up here to the enable editing button and then it's going to ask me for the other password, the permission password that we set up. And then voila, now I'm going to be able to edit the PDF file however I wish. And this basically concludes today's video. And if you are interested in taking a look at the full functionalities of PDF Element Pro, then definitely make sure to check out our website. You can find the link down there in the description. There you can download a free trial for PDF Element Pro and you can play around with a few um, of the options here like conversion of PDF files, editing to your heart's extent, extract images, adding watermarks, etc. Whatever it is that you have in mind doing with PDF files, you can definitely do it with PDF Element Pro. And if today's video was helpful and to your liking, then definitely don't forget to become part of the PDF Element Pro family by subscribing to the channel as well as to activate the notification bell. We are doing giveaways here on this channel quite often or maybe you just want to see a few more videos with me, Jens. Whatever it is you want to do, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And this basically is everything I wanted to talk about today. I bid you guys farewell and definitely make sure to stay safe during the ongoing pandemic. Bid you farewell. Ciao.